Let us start with two visuals. Here is how people are enjoying at the hill station. No mask, clearly no physical distancing. And here is how people were struggling to get an oxygen bed just a few months ago. Pehle hospital mein beds nahi the, ab hotels mein bed nahi hai. This is how tourists were chilling in Lonavala. These visuals are from Manali. These are from Shimla. And these are from Dharamshala. Agar aap ye soch rahe hai ki third wave aane mein abhi time hai aur usse pehle aapko ghoom lena chahiye, to jara dhyan se sochiye. Third wave aap khud hi hai. And I'm not being alarmist. I am being practical. This is exactly what experts are saying that the third wave is inevitable. The writing is on the wall and here are the clear signs. The Indian Medical Association has recently said that the third wave is inevitable and imminent. The association has also warned the central and state government to control mass gatherings before it is too late. There are reasons behind this warning. First of all, mass gatherings. The government and people have become complacent again. Local markets may be rush hai or hill stations may be. At the same time, people have become careless and they can be seen without masks. So no mask and no physical distancing is a perfect recipe for a disaster. The administration has also lowered its guard. The Uttar Pradesh government has allowed Kaavad Yatra from July 25th. Kaavad Yatra is an annual pilgrimage in which Shiva devotees, Kaavadiyas, travel from far off places during the auspicious month of Savan. They cover hundreds of kilometers, often on foot and after collecting holy water from Ganga, it is offered to local temples. Last year, this Yatra was cancelled because of COVID-19 pandemic. But this year, it has been given the go-ahead. Uttar Pradesh government has allowed it to allow it, but the Uttarakhand government, where it is the most important thing, has cancelled it. Even though the Uttar Pradesh government says that protocol will be followed and guidelines will be issued, but we all know what happened during the Kumbh Mela and what happened after that. The second reason behind the possibility of third wave hitting us hard is the slow pace of vaccination. Only close to 6% of Indians are completely vaccinated. Do you remember how on June 21st, India made a record by vaccinating more than 88 lakh people in a day? But what happened after that? The pace of vaccination has slowed down after that and the dashboard on Coven portal is a clear indication of this declining trend. June 21st was the day when the central government had taken back the control of vaccination vaccination from the state governments. But now the record just looks like a mere PR exercise. Many states have again run out of stocks. Delhi recently ran out of stocks of Covishield vaccine. In Odisha, many districts had to shut down vaccination centers because there was no vaccine. Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Jharkhand are also vaccinating less than they could because of the shortage. This is the most alarming report. Pe. SBI Research recently released a report where it said that the third wave of COVID-19 may hit next month. This report was based on the historical trends. So yes, we have the reasons to worry. Less vaccination, maskless people, mass gatherings, no physical distancing and complacency. Exactly the same signs what we had before the second wave of COVID-19. Yes, we all want to go out and enjoy ourselves. Yes, we all want to step out of our homes. And yes, we want to see the normal as soon as possible. But let us not forget that COVID-19 is far from over. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, do not forget to drop in a like and subscribe to India Times.